Ralph was born in the city of Charleston. As a little boy, we would go to the Lincoln Theater and we came out of the Lincoln and Ralph saw three Marines and he pulled my hand. He says, you know what? He said, one day I'm gonna wear that uniform. When a grenade comes in, you either grab it and throw it, you jump on it, or you run. That's all you got chances to do. A lot of grenades came in, but one came right next to me, and Johnson jumped on it and covered it and saved my life. It was his will, and it was God's will. What does sacrifice mean to me? Well, it's life for me, because if he hadn't done it, we wouldn't be having this conversation. So he gave me my life. So I guess I've dedicated my life to trying to go all over the world, the Marine bases, the Army bases, Air Force bases. And I just thank young people for giving what it takes for our freedom and our way of life. And, and I owe him my life. The Medal of Honor is the highest medal you can receive. And to me, Ralph had deserved that because he was such a giving person. When you give your life in the way that he did, I mean, what more could you ask? I'm glad that a ship's gonna be named after him and a hospital's been named after him, a street's been named after him. He deserved it. Our Navy, our nation honors one of our own and naming its newest destroyer, the USS Ralph Johnson, named for a young Marine who did not hesitate to give his own life to save the lives of his fellow Marines.